Hooligans, welcome back to the channel. Um, firstly, thanks to all my new subscribers and hello, and thanks to all my existing subscribers, and hope you're all doing well. Thanks for all the comments, especially the ones on the wear a chisel drivers um, on the mark in the map. Today, we've got something a little bit different. I'm having a look at a Japanese tool from Engineer. Um, I don't know if you if you know about the Vamp pliers, um, they're a Japanese brand. They in the upper upper prices there's a screw extraction plier so if you look at the end i'll bring you in in a minute after i've gone over this one with you this is the engineer um, plier very nice plier indeed um, this is a 200 mil one um, it's obviously got your grip there in the middle wire cutters and a screw a screw extraction there so what I'll do guys, I'm just going to put it here and we'll have a little look to you. Okay, first impressions, very nice weight on them, very nice rubber handles. I actually thought they were going to be hard plastic, but these are, these are nice and, and grippy and you, you do get a very nice grip on them. Very flush around there. I'm just going to get a magnet and just see how far this handle runs down okay so as you can see there with the magnet the handle does go quite far down because sometimes they might stop halfway and then you get a lot of slippage and then this might just be toughened plastic but now that the grip does go all the way down let me see if I've got something to cut yeah, they cut through lovely, they do. Very nice cut. Look at some FP in it, might be a bit big. No, they're fine. Cut fine. Look nice, feel nice. Well, do guys, I'll bring you a bit closer and we'll have a closer up look at these. So here they are, guys. The Engineer RX 59, these are the model. You can get 59. 58 and 57 so i take it that's obviously just the size so these are 200 mil these ones these are the larger of the ones and what i'll do i'll compare them to um, my nipax 200 mil oh no sorry these are 180s so you can see the size there it's not too much um, and like i said if you look up close you can see the screw extraction jaws so try and get a better picture the jaw breaks in the middle and obviously the lines come vertical towards the screw you feel really nice well built like i done earlier just pop a magnet on there show you the handles go all the way down these are really nice feel the grip is really nice on them um, see if I can get a screw in a minute and just pop it in there and obviously let's have a quick look on the box the label we've got oops try and get a wire cutter intermesh teeth vertical serrations application stripped dome head rusted and non-standard so if you're pulling the screws out um, you know you do get a real see how flush they are that you can get a real flush um, grip on them um, and also the grips are t-shaped so there's going to be no slippage on the handle so you're not going to get the handle slipping around first look at these impressive um, and like i mentioned the vamp van pliers are exactly the same as this but they just come in a red handle and obviously don't say engineer on there You've got your gripper there, so if you want to grip some ink in the middle to hike it out. But um, the look look at them is very nice, very nice indeed. They've really gone on the detail on them. Um, I will be using these now for the next two, three, four weeks. I'll be popping these in my bag, use them on a regular basis. Um, one mess up I did do, and this is what I've done. I bought this 
which is the sleeve to go over and obviously this is for the PZM58 and not these the 59 so just be aware of that guys if you do buy them make sure you buy the proper um, cap to go over I'll just grab a screw and see if I can just demonstrate you know the grip on them yeah it does feel very nice and like I said the head bites into the teeth so if you were trying to get the screw out you've got a very good hold on them okay guys only a short video just a quick look over um, like I said I will be doing another review on all my tools um, after I've been using them for a while so ones on the wearer tools and Apex, um, the Vito tools I use, the Baco, Stanley, um, Stabila, Milwaukee, all of them. I will be revisiting the tools later on after I've used them. Okay guys, hope you liked the video. Um, I'll be putting this video on later, hopefully, if I can get some um, editing done while I'm off. Um, have a good day guys and take care.